my name is Haley, and this is Elmo. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to groom a horse. So first off we have a curry comb. We're going to start at the top of his neck, moving our way down to his shoulder. We're going to keep in circular motions as this can bring all of the dirt and grime to the surface. We'll go back and brush it off later. Now we're moving to the top of his back where his saddle goes, along his side, and down to his belly. So now we're moving to his hindquarters and his thigh. Now as you can see now, I'm flicking it off um, just like you would brush a horse with a normal brush. Now if your horse prefers you can brush them just like that all the way over his body. Next brush is a dandy brush or a stiff bristle brush. Now this is used to get off all the bigger pieces of dirt. I'm only going down his legs because he wasn't that dirty. But if your horse is sensitive, please don't go over his body as it can hurt and be very uncomfortable. So make sure you get all around the leg, especially on the inside. Just so you know, I did go back and brush his other side once I had finished filming. Now we groom to one, make our horse pretty and to create a bond between horses. Alright, we're done now. So the next brush we're going to use, if I can find it, is... There we go, we got it. Is a body brush, also known as a soft bristle brush. Now we're going to go at the top of the neck. We're going to go down to his shoulder, to the top of his back, his side and his belly. This brush gets off all the little pieces of dirt that can be quite pesky and can um, easily get missed by the dandy brush. Now we're moving to his hindquarters and there's a funny patch of um, hair where I have to use my hand. Now I do take extra care when going in that part that you do go with the hair otherwise it can also be quite uncomfortable. As with all of the brushes except the um, the curry comb, make sure that you go with the hair. The next brush I forgot to show you, but it is a face brush. It's a smaller version of a uh, body brush. Now I'm just starting on his cheek and going underneath his halter. Now I prefer to go quite soft and as it's kind of unusual to have a brush on your face but other people like to go a bit harder. Do take extra caution when you are going around his eyes because we don't want any dirt to get in there. And again, go with the hair. The next, well actually, yeah, sorry, the next brush I'm using is the main forelock and tail brush. Just doing a quick brush on the forelock and his mane's over the other side as you can see. And it's a very straightforward brush, just like brushing your own hair. Um, you just brush it. Now with the tail, you grab little pieces at a time. Start at the bottom and work your way up. Always stand to the side when doing this, as a horse can kick out. I mean, you're not safe around his back legs because they can still kick out to the side. But it's much safer that way. Alright, now the last brush we're going to use is a hoof pick. We're going to start at the shoulder, run your hand down, and grab his feathers if he has any. Now if he refuses, lean on his shoulder gently. Now Elmo didn't really want his hooves to be lifted today, but they didn't have any dirt in them anyway. But that is how you do it. Depending on your horse, please be careful again, um, standing off to the side. And you're finished. Give him lots of pets and treats as well for being such a good boy or girl.